Have you ever had a time in your life where you didn't know what to do or where to turn? Well, friends, I have the answer for you. There's a lot of places to turn. There's a lot of places to go. But for many of us, it's the church. Why the church? Why the church? Because you can meet some like-minded people there who want to do good in the world, who want to inspire the world, who want to change the world. We also like to do some reading and some singing. Right now it's more like humming. But we like to come together so we can be filled with encouragement, with the knowledge that God is good. And no matter how the world treats us, God always treats us better. This is Rev. Janet Jones from My Country United Church up in Camilla, Ontario. We're here with you in my sprayer room in Orangeville. Still a mess. It's still a mess. I I pray some nights that some cleanup elves will come in here and transform it into this beautifully organized room. And yet, it's not. And you're probably like, Jan, I'm really curious as to see what this is. Not today. It's mm -hmm. It's not going to happen today. There are Christmas presents in here that are unwrapped. So no, it's not going to happen today. Um, wondering what you want to hear, what you need to hear. And so I was, uh, I have my friend Wendy and I go for a walk every morning and friend, you know, I don't, don't really want to walk at like 7am, but my friend <laughs> encourages me too. So we go for a walk in the mornings and we have to talk about, well, just about anything and everything. And there's uh, one thing that, uh, that she shares with me and it's like, you know, sometimes it's really nice to kind of complain and let out some negativity, but she goes, it's best to do that in five minute increments. And I thought that's really interesting. So you can complain or vent or whatever you need for five minutes get it out and then find something else to talk about move on just even distract detract extract yourself from that and move on to a whole different thing and I thought huh huh now I know it's not necessarily that easy because for some of us, especially in depression or, or some of the other things we have going on mental health wise, it, you kind of get stuck there. So I wondered, what can you do to get unstuck? How do you get out of that place? If it's been five minutes and 30 seconds, do you just set a timer and say, okay, that's done. Now I have to move on. And like all those feelings go away. Probably not, but at least you had five minutes to let it out. Hmm. I wonder if Jesus ever had just five minutes to let it out. Or was there anything that Jesus needed to let out? I mean, he sat with his friends at table. They talked. I wonder if they ever complained about the people in the cities or if it was like, oh, that was interesting. Well, let's see what we're in for next. Because conversations, I mean, it's nice to talk about the weather as Canadians. It's nice to talk about toilet paper and what? Oh, paper towels and maybe a vaccine. But what about some of the, the core stuff? When is the last time you asked someone, how are you? And a how are you question isn't a yes or no. It's like, oh, yeah, I have to come up with something. I have to have to come up with something. And I know we've talked about this in church. Some people just say, I'm fine. And then we say, right, you remember, right? No, really. How are you? So instead of that, because some people don't want to answer and we all have stuff going on. When instead of changing up for a little while and just say, how are you spending your time these days? Because our Zoom calls, we're learning, there's some baking going on and they're not bringing it over. I don't understand that, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> just kidding. Um, and a lot of walks happening and some shopping happening 
and some appointments happening. And even if you just say like, what are you doing with your time? You might actually learn about something that's going on in their lives that they're ready to talk about. Some of it might be fun, like grandbabies. Or, hmm, I'm trying to think of all the things that I heard of. Oh, we heard some really funny stories recently. I can't share those though, but they're really funny stories. So ask, ask, how are you spending your time these days? And then if that doesn't get you a conversation, they're still like, eh, not doing much. You could always ask really throw them off, really distract them and say, have you seen my latest dance craze? And they might give you this look <sighs> and you might have to come up with a dance craze. But in that moment, you might spark joy in someone. You might distract them from their negative whatever's feeling and I'm pretty sure it'll create a memory <laughs> now friends if you have hips that are vulnerable or knees that are tender try to find a dance craze that's not so physical something you can do from your chair and best done on zoom but if you do make sure it's not being recorded for all to see potentially at another time <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to share just something with you today being Thursday and technology is currently working with me unlike earlier. So I'm going to not press my luck anymore and take another break after this is uploaded and do more technology work in a couple hours. But um, so how are you? How are you spending your time? Have you seen my latest dance craze? <laughs> Friends, I hope you have a fantastic week ahead. Um, there was just one little update in my email. I, for some reason, had in our prayer list Kelsey under the hoopers, but it's actually under the banks. And I second guessed myself in the email. I knew better, but then I'm like, oh, was it that Kelsey? Or So that's the only... Uh, uh, small change in our prayer list but um and let us pray together shall we oh holy one in this crazy time that we live in um, some of us are having an easy time of getting through life although it's very different some of us have more work some of us have more play some of us just have more stuff so i think of all our friends who have been recently diagnosed or know someone who has been recently diagnosed with a pretty severe illness or disease and are still wondering how and what's and ifs and whens and all that stuff. I ask you to be with them all, oh God. I pray that you are with all around the world who are suffering with COVID-19. I pray that you are, I know you are with the anti-maskers and those who don't follow the regulations and recommendations of our public health. But God, I think I need you to help me find out where you are within it. So God, be in me to see and to hear and uh, remind me about compassion and grace and mercy and that I'm responsible for myself and really no one else, well, except for my kids. And um, God, I just ask you to continue to teach us how to laugh together, how to love together, how to be kind, and uh, to check in honestly and earnestly with each other. And if we sense there's a wall up that we can help them have a laugh. God, would just help us to be your light in this world, especially when the nights are getting darker earlier. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I mean, Amen. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, amen. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you for letting me be me. That's all I got. Um, so what do we have on the roster? We have Advent starting on Sunday. So we'll get worship posted as soon as possible Sunday afternoon. We're going to live stream soon. And just a reminder that if 
um, you were thinking about visiting us from outside our region that we do have a COVID policy that you have to be within our region. It's just really to protect our community and to encourage you to stay home or online. If you need something, let me know. We can do stuff. Uh, and um, Tuesday starts our Christmas stories and songs. <laughs> That'll be fun. And Wednesday we have our Zoom gathering and then Thursday we're back here. Oh, we got Sunday night prayers too. It's a beautiful time. Uh, so if you need anything, want anything, just need a, someone to hear what's going on in your life, don't be afraid to get in touch with me. And like I said in my email, uh, if it's been longer than four hours, don't be afraid to double check in on me because sometimes technology and I really, we, we might need some therapy. I don't think there's a psychologist who can help us right now, but soon, maybe. I don't think my phone will talk to them doesn't talk to me sometimes anyway. <laughs> anyway i could babble forever and you need to go get your stuff done and it is almost dinner time so friends may you know that god is with you and so are your friends up at high country united church and beyond all right have a great week sayonara ha ha ha